In this video, I'll explain what the out of gamut warning on the Illustrator color panel means. I'm here in Adobe Illustrator 2021, and this question comes from my friend Terry, and I thought this topic would be especially useful for those of you who work with RGB hex codes to choose colors for spoon flower printing on fabric. So I'm in the new document dialog, and for this first document, I'm going to choose a print preset and I'll choose the letter. And then when you choose a print preset document in Illustrator, you'll see that the color mode is automatically set to CMYK. So that's the default color mode for work to be printed. And I'll click create. And we've created a new letter size CMYK document. Now I'll do the same thing again, going to file new, but this time I'll choose a web preset document the common web page size. And this time by default, we get the RGB color mode setting. So I'll go ahead and click create. Now for this demonstration, I want these two documents side by side. So I'm going up to this icon on the top control bar and I'll choose the arrangement so I can see two documents side by side. The CMYK document is on the left and we can see that in the tab at the top of the document window. And over on the right, we have the RGB document. Now I'll draw a square in the RGB document. And to choose a color to fill the square, I'll go to the fill icon on the color panel and double click to open the color picker. And I'm going to choose a very bright green color. This is exactly the kind of super bright color that would be difficult to achieve in CMYK process printing. And you can see there's a warning that pops up right here in the color picker but I'll just click OK. And now I'm gonna copy that square using Commander Control C to copy, and then I'll move over to the CMYK document and paste, that's Commander Control V. And instantly we're seeing the color looks totally different in CMYK. So Illustrator has given us a duller but more realistic version of this color. So in CMYK here on the left, the color gamut, that's the range of colors available, is much smaller than it is in RGB. And that's because we can only get colors that can be reproduced using those four inks, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Whereas over on the right in RGB, the gamut, the range of colors is much larger. And it includes even fluorescent eye burningly bright colors like this green. So what are those out of gamut warnings that we see on the color panel? What do they mean? And do we have to do something about them? So in the RGB document, we'll see two warnings in the color panel. So if I hover over this one, it says out of gamut warning, click to correct. Now this warning is just telling us, hey, this color will not be printable in CMYK. So it's out of the CMYK gamut. So even though this is an RGB document, because Illustrator is a graphic design software, it's just letting us know that if you want to print this document at some time in the future, this color might be difficult to achieve in CMYK. So if you're not ever going to print this artwork in CMYK, you can just ignore this warning. And this goes for Spoonflower too. If you're working in RGB and choosing colors from their printed sample, the color map, just ignore this warning. But Notice if you do want a color that's safe for CMYK, you can click here and quickly change the color. And as you can see, it looks practically identical to the color on the left in the CMYK document. So that warning with the little triangle and the exclamation point, it's something that only really applies when you're working in RGB to let you know that a color is outside of the CMYK gamut. So in the CMYK document, you may see that warning while you're working in the color picker, and you may also see it if you're working with RGB sliders, but once a color is chosen, it automatically changes to something within the CMYK gamut because our document color mode is set to CMYK. So when working in a CMYK document, you can ignore that warning because Illustrator is automatically going to make your colors within gamut. And of course, if your document is eventually going to print in CMYK, you really need to get a Pantone book or some other physical printed sample to choose your colors from because what you see on screen 
can differ from the actual printed piece. Now, back to the RGB document. I'm gonna undo to get that super bright color back. And let's look at the other warning. Now this one with the little cube next to it is specifically for web safe colors. And web safe colors are a holdover from the days of 8-bit graphics on the internet. And that was a long time ago. So in this era of modern websites, you can just ignore this warning. Now you probably don't need a web safe color, but if you do, just click the button and Illustrator will change it to a web safe color. And I'll undo that. Okay. Now back over in the CMYK document, you'll also see that web safe gamut warning here. And again, you can just ignore it. So to sum up, the out of gamut warning with the little triangle only applies when you're working in RGB. And if you don't intend to print the art with CMYK process printing, then just ignore it. If you're intending to print your artwork on fabric with spoon flour, you definitely wanna work in the RGB color mode from the start. If you start in CMYK and choose hex codes from the spoon flour color map, those colors can shift and change automatically. And you don't want that to happen as we saw in the very beginning of this tutorial. So definitely work in RGB for spoon flour from the start. You can change your document color mode by going to the file menu, document color mode, and choose RGB. Then you can enter hex codes for the colors you want from the spoon flour color map right here in the color panel. You'll need to be working with RGB sliders to see this hex code field. So if you need to change sliders, go to the options menu and choose RGB sliders. Finally, Spoonflower recommends using the sRGB color space. So let's make sure we have that set correctly. You can find your Illustrator color settings under edit, color settings. And right here we can see my working space for RGB is currently set to sRGB. So this is going to be the most compatible with Spoonflower's process. Now, maybe you look here and you see your settings are set to Adobe RGB. That's another popular color space to be working in, but you can change that here in the menu to sRGB. In the settings menu here at the top, you may see the default in Illustrator is set to North America general purpose. And that will get you that sRGB working space. And if all of your apps are set to the same setting, you'll see the word synchronized here, meaning all of your apps are using the same color settings. If you have Adobe Bridge, you can choose a color setting and it will be applied to all of your desktop apps at the same time. So that's the fastest way to get them all synchronized. For your final art, when you export from Illustrator, you can use the command file, export, export as, and if you choose JPEG for your file type, you'll also have the opportunity to check embed ICC profile. And here we see it's sRGB, so that's what we want. That same option is available when you export from Save for Web in Illustrator. So if you're exporting as a JPEG, here's the checkbox that will allow you to include the ICC profile so that this JPEG will be color managed. So in summary, for printing your art at Spoonflower, be sure to set your document to RGB before choosing colors. You can ignore any out of gamut warnings you see. Refer to the Spoonflower color map printed sample for color accuracy and set your color settings to sRGB as Spoonflower recommends for color management. Finally, when exporting as a JPEG, you can embed the sRGB ICC profile by checking a box. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. My name is Laura Coyle. I'm an Illustrator and Adobe Illustrator instructor. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of my newest tutorials. And for more info on me and my Illustrator courses and tips, check out my website at lauracoilcreative.com. And thanks for watching.